Hi, I'm Robert Mahaffey with Third Street Financial. If you're like me, around January 1st every year, you make New Year's resolutions. I always do. I make resolutions, I set goals. I set them both personal and professionally. Maybe it's a fitness goal, maybe it's an income goal, maybe it's a savings goal. Well, this year, one of my professional goals was to be more efficient with my time management. When I schedule projects or tasks that I need to accomplish, I really need to be better at buckling down to finish them, not let things interrupt or distract me. Two weeks ago, I was watching a movie with my wife. We were watching The Social Network. It's based on a book by Ben Mesrick called The Accidental Billionaires. It's about the founders of Facebook. It's a great movie. It piqued my interest because I, like you, uh, am new to Facebook. I think it's fascinating. I'm caught up in the daily status updates and friend requests. But I wanted to understand more. And as I watched this movie, there were two particular things that I picked up on that I can help myself in my professional life. The two things are two different clips I want to show you where the individual was focused. They were wired in, as they said. I'm Sean Parker. Oh, he's wired in. That's what I'm talking about. Mark! Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. When, when they say they're wired in, you see the one guy with headphones on. Actually, both guys with headphones on. And, and they're not allowing anything to distract them from getting what they need to at the current moment done. Maybe I need to shut my door. Maybe I need to turn my phone off. Maybe I need to tell my assistant not to interrupt me while I'm working on a database project. Or maybe, maybe you're a realtor and you're working on comps for a listing appointment. Um, whatever that may be, we need to have some wired in time. I'm Sean Parker. Oh, he's wired in. That's what I'm talking about. If I'm being completely transparent with you right now, there's two areas of my professional life that I need to be wired in. I need to be wired in when it comes to sitting down with the telephone and just calling through and talking to my past clients and keeping those relationships. The other part of being wired in is, is when I'm working on a particular loan file. I, I bet right now if I'm working on something and I stop to answer the phone or or look at an email that pops up on my screen, it takes me twice as long to work through a loan scenario as it, it would if I just sat there and finished it, if I had that wired in mentality. Mark! Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. 